Hi, I'm Ellen Riedel. I'm a staff attorney with MVLS, and today I'm going to take a couple minutes to talk to you about how to go about settling a collections case. So if a creditor has filed a case against you to collect some amount they claim you owe them, um, if, you, if you agree that you owe what they're claiming you owe and you just want to try and work something out, some kind of payment arrangement, um, I can give you some tips on how to do that. Um, the important, one of the first things to know is that the court does not uh, get involved in making payment arrangements between parties. So if you want to make an arrangement to pay or to, and you want to settle the case with a payment arrangement, you actually need to contact the plaintiff, um, the, the creditor that's suing you. Um, and the best way to do that is through the attorney who has filed the case for them. So I have here um, a sample of what the district court complaints look like in Maryland. And I just wanted to point out, you know, if you get served court papers and you want to try and call their, the, the plaintiff's attorney to work out an arrangement, um, their information is usually right here. Um, the name and address of the, the law firm is right there. And sometimes there's a phone number or email address over here. So you can find that information on the complaint, the court papers that you get served with. Okay. So there's two, generally two different types of um, or settlements that you can do with a, a creditor who claims you owe them money. Um, one is a voluntary dismissal and one is a consent judgment. Um, voluntary dismissal is where the uh, creditor agrees to dismiss the case against you um, because of the, the payment arrangement that you've made with them. The consent judgment is where you would actually agree to have a judgment entered against you, a money judgment entered against you, but your creditor agrees not to try and collect on that judgment through the courts as long as you're making payments as, as agreed. Um, so the voluntary dismissal is usually a little bit better for consumers because you don't have a money judgment on your credit report. Um, so if you are able to get a voluntary dismissal, that's what you, you would want to try and do. Um, okay, so if you are reaching out to them to make arrangements, what kind of arrangements can you make? Um, a lot of our clients like to make uh, arrangements to do monthly payments. Um, most creditors will accept that. Some have minimum amounts that they, they want to get from debtors, from, from consumers. Um, if you have some kind of hardship and can't pay that, tell them what you can pay. And, and don't agree to something that is unaffordable to you. Um, if you can only agree to, if you can only pay $25 a month, tell them that. Um, and you know, sometimes that makes more sense, um, for, even for them, because they don't have to pay an attorney to go through the court process to try and collect from you. They can just get those payments from you without having to go through all of that. Um, the other thing to know is that if you have um, certain types of income, you may be protected from garnishment. So the creditor may not actually be able to force you to pay them. Um, examples of those types of income would include social security benefits, um, disability benefits, things of that nature. Um, creditors generally cannot garnish a social security check. So if that's your only type of income, um, I would suggest calling us or you know contacting uh, legal help uh, to help you determine if you are uh, uh, exempt from, from being garnished in that way. It's what we call collection proof. Um, if you are collection proof, then you may, you may be able to talk to your creditor about getting what's called a hardship dismissal. Um, that's where the creditor acknowledges that you don't have any, any income that they can garnish, that they can take from you, and so they agree to dismiss the case and cease collection efforts. Um, if you have questions about that or you have a case like this that you want to get help with settling, um, give us a call and we will see you know, if we can pair you with an attorney to help you do that.